Hello? Enough already, all right? I'm getting sick of this. trying to freak me out. It's not working. <gasps> really? So this is it? So what, I just pull your mask off and then I win? And come on. I think we both know that this is over. Okay, enough. I'm not having fun anymore. I'm done. <gasps> You guys are scared of a little alligator? Oh, stalked by an alligator like that could really happen. What's up, baby? I knew a girl in my old high school that got stalked. By an alligator? <laughs> no, not by an alligator. <laughs> Who did it? Uh, some guy. She got a restraining order and he seemed to go away and then she graduated, went off to college and he killed her. Oh, that's awful. Oh, yeah. I think I heard about that. Wasn't he waiting like outside her apartment? Yeah. No. He was hanging out in the back seat of her car. <laughs> mm. Just goes to show you have no idea who you're dating or marrying, for that matter. Just when you think you know somebody. Okay. I've seen this movie before. I gotta get home. Me too. Hey, Ashley. I haven't seen you in a long time. Ashley is Darren's new flavor. She's just here by default. See you at practice, dude? Yeah, sure, man. <laughs> All right, I'll text you. Ciao. Until later. Yeah, I guess not. Uh, Ashley, this is Trevor. Hi, Ashley, it's nice to meet you. Sure. Got a lot of homework to do. Wow. Sorry. No, 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 no. Don't worry about it. It's okay. I'll catch up with you later. Bye. Look, I was going to tell you, but. Trevor just stopped by unexpectedly. So what, is he like your boyfriend now? No, we've just been out a few times, that's all. Well, I guess he doesn't know what day it is because it would be really insensitive of him to just drop by. 
Unless, of course, you forgot. It's been two years to the day, and it doesn't seem like you care. Mm-hmm. Ashley, you know that's not fair. Because I would never forget the day your father died, ever. to see how you were doing. I know today is kind of hard. I can't believe it's been two years. Thanks, but uh, I'm good. So what are you doing tonight? Hanging out with Darren or Chloe and them? Mm -hmm. Ashley? Yeah, uh, look, Mayor, I, I gotta go, so I'll see you at school tomorrow, okay? So who do you think sent it? I don't know, but I checked the number and it's unlisted. Well, don't you guys think it's kind of a coincidence that we were talking about stalking and then we got that invite? What? You're the one who talked about being really stalked. Hey, it wasn't me. Well, did anyone click on the link and join? Because I didn't. Uh, not me. Not that. What about you, Ashley? No, no way. Oh, hey, I gotta go. They're doing some type of college orientation assembly. You're so lucky you're graduating, man. I'll catch up with you later, okay, Chloe? See you, Chloe. All right, I'll see you after third period. So I told you all when I first started teaching here at the beginning of the year that this was going to be part of my curriculum. So start with your scalpel, and if you need to, you've all been given a pair of scissors. Yes, Sadie? I have a note from my doctor that says I can't do this. Fine. You can go to the library, but you still need to present your project. That's fine. Kyle, your partner's not here. Why don't you team up with Ashley and Meredith? Great, your biggest fan. Hey. All right, everyone, pull out your worksheets. That's enough. Now turn to page six. I think we should do it. What? Join Stalker Club. Is that your plan all along, Chloe? Hey, I didn't send it. But I have heard of it before. From where? Around. Hey, I'll try anything once. <laughs> what about you, Sadie? <laughs> Are you kidding? She's too scared to cut open a little froggy. <laughs> I'm surprised, considering. I'll do it. I mean, it's obviously just some game, like Candy Crush. It's better. We're not gonna be playing a game. We're gonna be living it. Well, I doubt Ashley wants to play. I mean, she's too much of a good girl. I'll join. What's the big deal? Well, I guess that means I'm in, too. Cool. Let's do it. Grab your phones. We're all gonna click the link on three. One, two, three. The rules that were sent to us say that we all draw a piece of paper from the hat. If you get stalker, you have to stalk the rest of us the victims. You can strategically throw people off your scent, but if you unmask the stalker and you're right, you win. If not, you're out. What do we win? The right to not be called chicken for the rest of your life. There's one more rule. 
It says as soon as you join Stalker Club, you can't tell anyone about it. Good luck. What are you doing up? I, I had a bad dream. Oh, sweetie. Well, if you're not too sleepy, how about we sneak a little late night ice cream, huh? For old time's sake, yeah? Sure. Okay, come on. Hey. Hey. Did you get one? A mask? Yeah, you too? Yeah, it makes all of us. Who do you think sent it? Whoever sent that club invite. Even though she said she didn't, I got a pretty good idea who it was. The poison dart frog has only one natural predator, a snake called Liamdophus epinephalus, which has become immune to the frog's poison. And the next slide that I have is of This isn't my slide. I, uh. This is a mistake. I'm sorry, I, I don't know how that got there. All right, everyone. Just settle down. You know that was some kind of cruel joke, right? That flash drive's been sitting in my locker for two days. I bet you Chloe and then broke in and took it. Look. Just forget about it, okay? I really don't care. They're jerks, Ashley. They always have been. And I get that you're thrilled to be going out with Darren, but... You don't have to hang out with them. They're his friends, Meredith. He didn't even know anybody until he started playing soccer with Mark. 
Mom's making your favorite casserole tonight. It's been a while since you've been over. Hey, I heard about what happened. Are you okay? I'm fine. I'm so sorry. That's not cool. Even if it is part of the Look, game. it's not a big deal. What was up with that slideshow? Somebody trying to mess with you? Hey, she's good, Kyle. I'm fine. Thanks. There's a guy who can't take a hint. But, I mean, you are pretty irresistible. You still coming over tonight? My dad won't be home till later. And I've got a way to make you forget all of this. Of course. Good. You know, we were best friends. So, when did your parents get divorced? Um, a year ago. And you didn't want to live with your mom and brother? Well, my uh, brother and I never really got along, so it's just easier this way. Plus, my dad's really cool. My dad was too. He was actually rushing home to help me with a school project the night that he died. He was driving too fast and a woman stepped onto the road and he swerved so that he wouldn't hit her. And he ran straight into a pole. They said he died almost instantly. I can't imagine how hard that must have been. It's the almost part that I have the hardest time with. Hey, I'm gonna go put on some music. I'll be right back. What do you think, huh? Is it me? You scared me to death. Oh, sorry. I just brought it out to see if you got the same one. Hey, I, I'm sorry. I was just messing around. Were you? Because I saw somebody outside. Really? Maybe I was being stalked. What, so are you trying to tell me that you're not the stalker? <laughs> I know we're not supposed to tell, but I figured I could tell you. So you're not just saying that to throw me off? I swear. Well, I'm not the stalker either. And how do I know you're not just saying that to throw me off? Where's yours? Threw it out. I don't think you were supposed to. Who cares? It's just a stupid game, right? Come here before my dad gets home. Anybody have any good stalker stories? Although those slides were pretty good. I thought I saw someone at Darren's house last night. Ooh, Darren, did you see anybody? Uh, no, I was getting something inside. Well, that's suspicious. Well, what about you, Sadie? I've had someone banging on my door and no one's there. Well, obviously we're all going to say that we've been stalked because if you haven't been, then it will seem very suspicious. But that's part of the game. Hey, I love it, man. It's a total rush. So whoever's the stalker, don't hold back. The scarier, the better. Oh, I'm all in. <laughs> My mom says you're a counselor? That's right. Um, I help people work through things like grief, uh, managing an injury. I even help students work their way through high school, hell. <laughs> 
<clears throat> so you hit on my mom while you were helping her get over my dad? Ashley! No, oh, no, it's okay. Your mother and I actually met at the hospital in the line for the cafeteria. How about I get dessert ready, huh? Ashley, would you like to help me? I'm sorry. It's okay. Actually, no, it's not. I... Actually, I understand you miss your father, but I'm allowed to be happy again. And with Trevor, for the first time in two years, I don't feel sad. So maybe you can manage to kindly ask him if you'd like a cup of coffee. Thank you. Trevor? Oh my god. <gasps> what? What? What happened? I don't know. I don't know. I just thought I saw something. Do you see anything? No. It's probably nothing then. It's my reflection or something, I guess. Sorry, I've just been a bag of nerves lately. Where's Trevor? I don't know. He, he wasn't in the house. I'm right here. Uh, oh, gosh. I'm sorry. I needed to grab my phone. I, I've got this patient who likes to call at all hours. Everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine. Um, except my dessert is a bit of a wreck. Excuse me. Oh, it's OK. I'm full anyway. Who do you think it is? I don't know. I mean, the only person I know who has any medical issues is Mark. What does he have? Uh, allergies, I think. I mean, the guy ate a granola bar in practice one time, and his whole face swelled up like a balloon. Jeez. Yeah, he's lucky he had his EpiPen. Yo. Hey, uh, is this Mark's? No, oh, he's got one like that. Why? Because I found it in my backyard last night. I think the stalker was there, too. <laughs> so it's Mark? Are you surprised? I mean, he said he loves the rush. He's really good at being sneaky. You know, he's probably the one who started this whole thing. So should I confront him? Actually, let's all have some fun. You look so hot in this bikini. Mmm. Actually, I am dying of thirst. Can you get me a soda? I think I'll be more energetic once I'm hydrated. Oh, I will hydrate you, baby. Mm. Corner. I'm gonna give him a scare of his lifetime. What is it? Mark. 
What's going on? Mark? Mark? Oh. What? what? Oh my god. Oh my god. Chloe, where is that big pen? Where is it that big pen? Go look at his back. Come on, Mark. Hang in there, buddy. Hang in there. Come on. Come on. Ashley! Got it! Come on, man. Where were you? We had a plan. I had an appointment that ran late. Is he okay? Well, thanks to Ashley's quick thinking, he's okay for now. Hey, I would have gotten that pin. I don't think this is anybody's fault, all right? We're just gonna have to monitor him closely for the next 24 hours and hope there's not a second reaction. Can we see him? Man, how you feeling? Never better. <laughs> Thanks to all you guys. What were you doing at my place anyway? Well, we know you're the stalker, so we were gonna play a joke on you to set you up. <laughs> it's nice of you, but I'm not the stalker. But I found your medical bracelet in my backyard. Somebody stole it, I swear. Check my wallet. If it isn't you, who is it? Whoever stashed the beehive in my gym bag. Well, dude, come on. You don't really think that was part of the game, do you? Well, when I went to soccer practice the other day, it sure as hell wasn't there. Who would do that? Chloe. Seriously? Well, you were all in. Unbelievable. You. Accusing me of doing something so messed up when you're the one who almost strangled your brother to death. Yeah, I don't look so surprised. I heard you with your guidance counselor last week. Well, I wouldn't hurt anyone. Yeah, except yourself. Let's just forget about the whole thing. Okay, let's forget about all of it. The club, everything. So it doesn't matter who the stalker is. The game is over. Yeah, I'm all for that. Agreed. Well, I'm obviously out. Fine. We'll end it. But we all delete that text so nobody knows anything about it. And from this day forward, we don't talk about it. So do you think it was? I don't know. I can't believe any one of us would go that far. It's crazy, right? <sighs> what did Chloe mean when she said that you strangled your brother? <sighs> Both of my uh, parents worked. So my brother and I were on our own a lot. And he used that time to torment me. And one day I just snapped. And it didn't matter that he made my life a living hell. I was the one that got sent to the shrink. And that's the real reason why my parents aren't together. Because of what I did. So you don't talk to your brother anymore? Not if I can help it. I get it if it freaks you out. That's why I don't really talk about it. But I mean, we've all got skeletons in our closets. At least now you know mine. I'm just glad we're done with the game. Me too. Well, hey, um, I better get home. My dad's gonna be wondering where I was.
Guys, I'm so sorry, but visiting hours are long over. I tried to leave it as long as I could. Okay, we're leaving. Okay. See you in the morning. We're gonna take real good care of him, okay? I'll be looking in on him all night. Don't worry. What are the chances of him having another reaction? Well, there's always the possibility of that, but it does lessen over time. Linda, I promise you, I will make sure we monitor him very closely, okay? He's just never been this swollen before. Oh, I understand. Believe me, I know it looks bad, but it's not as bad as it looks, okay? Thank you for always being here. Of course. And I'll continue to be, okay? Get some rest. Bye. Doctor, did you need something? Doctor? Doctor? Come on, come on, Mark. Where is it? I need oxygen and albuterol now. Come on, Mark. You can do this. Come on. Stay tight. Stay tight. Stay tight. All right, Mark. We got you. We got you. You can do it. Come on. It's over. Ashley? Mom. 
What are you doing home? They let me go early. Why? Let's talk inside. I don't know how to tell you this. Honey, Mark died. What? Yeah, he went into what's called anaphylactic shock. I'm so sorry. Mom, I need to tell you something. Sweetie, what is it? And from this day forward, we don't talk about it. What is it? I, I'm just, I'm really, I'm really glad that you're here. I love you. And I will always be here for you. <sighs> now I know it's hard. But you have to get some sleep. Okay, good night. Night. I'm sorry that I have to be the one to inform you all on the untimely passing of your classmate, Mark Hernandez. And I know it's hard to understand a death at your age because it shouldn't happen. Yes, Meredith. I heard the bees were in his gym bag. Isn't that weird? It is unusual, but not unheard of. Bees will nest indoors or out. My guess is they were attracted to something in his bag and they began to build their hive. We had a hive in our pantry once. Thanks, Sherlock. Regardless, it's just a horrible accident. Okay, so let me get your papers out. I took a look at them over the weekend and thought they were mostly good, although some of you need to pay a little bit more attention. When did you get it? Last night. Me too. Well, who sent it? God, Ash, chill. How can I chill when Mark is dead because of our stupid game? Okay, we don't know that for sure, all right? I mean, you heard Miss Glinner. It's not uncommon for bees to build their hive in a bag or wherever. So as long as we don't talk about it, nobody knows about the game. It's over. Then why am I still being stalked? I guess I'm the only one, then. You're just being paranoid, Ashley. No, I'm not. Because there was somebody in my house last night. Well, what about Sadie? Where is she? Ah, oh, she's probably all freaked out about Mark and decided to stay home. <laughs> I mean, you'd think he was her boyfriend, not mine. But she is a head case. Well, she didn't show up yesterday to Mark's, and she didn't show up today. So maybe it's her. Maybe she's the one taking this too far. Sadie, are you all right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm fine. Why don't you take one of my pills? Mom, it'll help you feel better. I know it's hard, especially since he was a friend. You'll get through it. Yeah. 
How do you know her combination? She uses the same number combo in all her passcodes. Okay, what are we looking for? That slip of paper, anything. What is that? My dad. Somebody broke into my house and cut it out. Okay, well then it has to be Sadie, right? I always knew she was crazy. Well, we should go talk to her. Because if it is her, she needs to stop. Fine. When? Tonight. We'll go to her house and confront her. Not that she will ever get over losing him, but I mean, why act out like this now? I... Well, there have been a few changes in her life. Do you really think it's us? It's hard to say. Look, the only thing you can do is just talk to her about it. No, you're right. Hmm? She should be home from school soon. Then I should probably go. Yeah. <laughs> She's gonna be okay, you know that, right? I hope so. She will. I'll see you later. Okay. Hi, Ashley. Hey. What? Why would you do this? I just... I just had a moment. I'm fine now. No, this, this is not okay. Mom, it's just, it's just because of the anniversary. Really? Because this makes me think you're really angry about something. Oh, what, is that what Trevor said? Stop it. You and I made a promise to each other after your father died that if anything, anything bothered either one of us, we would always tell each other. So if it is about Trevor, then you need to tell me. Mom, I already told you, okay? It's just because it's the time of the year. I'm okay. Just promise me you will always talk to me. I will. Okay. I love you, Ashley. You guys left. I'm fine, okay? God, I thought you guys were leaving.
What are you doing? It's me, I'm the stalker. Chloe? If this is you, this isn't funny. I'm serious! I don't want to play anymore. Please, just... Sadie? Sadie, are you here? Ashley, what the hell are you doing? You were supposed to meet me out front. I saw someone. Who? I, I don't know, I think I was the stalker. Well, duh, it's Sadie. I mean, that's why we're here, right? Do you hear that? Nobody says anything about the club. Got it? But don't you think we kind of have to now? Why? I mean, we don't even know why Sadie did that. I know I saw the stalker in the house. Oh my god, seriously, Ashley? It was her, okay? It was Sadie. She obviously felt guilty about what she did to Mark, and she cut herself. This time she just went too far. Chloe's right, Ash. I can't afford to get into any more trouble. I mean, look at my track record. If you say anything, I will put this all on you. I'll tell them that when I got here, you were already in the house, which is the truth. And I'll make them think you're the stalker. Officer. Or you can keep your little mouth shut, and we can stick to the story that we talked That's about. Okay. Sweetie, sweetie, are you all right? Are you okay? Yeah. I'm great. Listen, now that your mom's arrived, we have a few questions for you, okay? Sure. It's okay. You think she'll spill? I don't know. But she's your girlfriend. You rein her in. So you were the first one of your friends to arrive, is that correct? No. We we pretty much all got here at the same time. And how did you come upon Sadie? We had all made a plan to meet at her house. And um, when she didn't answer the door, I got worried. So I came in the window. And then Darren and Chloe showed up, and we all went in together. Okay, and why were you all meeting her here? Uh, she wasn't at school, so we figured she was sick or something. And we just wanted to make sure she was okay. She clearly had some issues. No, you can't take her. She's my baby.
Uh, officer, if you're done, um, I think my daughter's been through enough. I'd like to take her home. We'll be in touch if we have any further questions. Okay. Come on, honey. We'll get your car in the morning. Come on. It's okay. Now, there you go. We'll snug as a bug. Sure, I can't catch anything. I'm fine. You're not fine, Ashley. And it's okay not to be. You know, that girl died when I was in high school. It was horrible. How did she die? An accident. But it doesn't matter how. Just no parent should ever have to go through that. And I understand that so much more now. So, if you're not careful, I might just follow you to college and really embarrass you. <laughs> What were you listening? What are you talking about? We were all supposed to meet at Sadie's and then you texted that you were running late. Yeah, I had to help my dad with something. What? Something in the garage. Ashley, why are you giving me the third degree? We never proved Sadie was the stalker. Well, it wasn't me, all right? Because just so you know, I'm still being stalked too. What happened? When I got home last night, there was a noose hung in my backyard. Why didn't you tell me? You haven't been answering my calls. Really? Or are you just trying to throw me off your scent? Because that's what the game said to do. And I'm so freaked out right now, Darren. And I wish we had never joined that stupid club. Look, I would never do anything to hurt you or Sadie or anyone else. Come on, Ash. I thought you knew me. Someone is taking this too far. It's not me. Sorry about Sadie. Yeah, well, she obviously had some problems. People are saying that you and Chloe are the ones that found her. Is that true? Yeah. Then why doesn't Chloe seem more upset? I mean, wasn't Sadie her best friend, or is she really that cold? Meredith, really? I'm serious, Ash? I mean, you're obviously upset, but Chloe seems fine. Even after her boyfriend died, she seemed fine, and it's just, it's weird. It's all weird. Ever since you started going out with Darren, everything's changed. You've changed. I just want my best friend back. What's going on in here? Nothing. Hey, I just wanted to say I'm really sorry about your friends. Yeah, me too. Well, look, if you ever wanted to talk or, I don't know, hang out, I've, I've got an extra ticket to the Tech Expo. Maybe tomorrow after school Are we could... Are you seriously asking me out right now? 
No, I, I just thought you've been through a lot and... I'm sorry, uh, Kyle. Maybe another time, okay? So, has she agreed to speak with anyone yet? Well, I suggested it, but we haven't discussed it at length yet, no. In fact, I've been thinking, um, I'm not entirely certain this is the best time for you and I to be seeing one another. I need to focus on Ashley and what's going on with her right now. Look, if you think there's something going on with Ashley and she's not telling you about it, I recommend you make her business your business. Otherwise, you might regret it later. If that's you, Chloe, you better stop or I'm gonna tell. I don't care if you say it was my idea. Soccer club? What is that? It's nothing. Well, it doesn't sound like nothing. What is it, some type of online group or? No, 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 no. Um, I, I thought it was just the name of a, a movie someone told me about, but it's not. Is everything okay with you, Ashley? Yeah, everything's fine. All right. Well, I'm off for the day, so try not to burn the candle, all right? Kidding me? Hello? Is anybody here? Hello? I'm done. I'm not playing anymore. Do you hear me? I said I'm done!
you say this was a game? Yes. And they were wearing a mask? Yes. So, could have been one of your friends just messing with you? No, they had a knife. I got that. And I understand that being locked in school after hours is scary, but we've done a sweep, and there is no one in there. Trust me, there was somebody in there. It, it, this was not a prank. Okay. I'll talk to the other two you told me about. Chloe Michaels and Darren White. We'll let you know what we find out. Ashley, where have you been? I've been calling you. I got, I got locked in the school. What? Where did that come from? You tell me. I found it in your room. I'm sorry for going through your things, but I'm worried about you, Ashley. It was so stupid, Mom. What? We all got this text to join this club, this stalker club, and it was just supposed to be this, like, game, and then, and then things just got out of control. Who sent you the invitation? I don't know. Whoever it was, they, they sent us all these masks and they started stalking all of us. It was kind of funny at first and then, and then Mark went to the hospital so we all decided to drop it. And it just, it didn't stop though. What didn't stop? Well, the stalking. Next thing, Sadie dies. She killed herself. No, she didn't. It was the stalker. I saw the stalker in her house right before we found her body. Now they're after me, Mom. They locked me in school and they had a knife. Okay, that's it. We're going to the police. I did. They just think it's someone pulling a prank. Chloe and Darren, they're the only ones that are left. It has to be one of them. Stay right there. I don't think she wants to talk to you right now, Darren. Ashley, please. What, did you get stalked again? My mom knows, Darren. I told her after I told the police. The police? Why? Because someone tried to kill me at school. I mean, I'm sorry, I didn't know. Yeah, well, now you do. So you'll know what to say when the police question you. What do you mean by that? The five of us were the only ones who knew about Stalker Club, Darren. So figure it out. I'm glad you told the police. And I'm glad that you're okay. I mean that. It's Karen. We all need to meet. Yeah, I think you're right. I don't know what she's talking about. So you never partook in this game? No. I don't know anything about it, really. I mean, she was the one who brought it up. I thought it was really weird, but no, it's kind of typical. What do you mean by that? A few years ago, Ashley's dad died. And ever since, she's been a bit off. Everyone knows it. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank you for your time. I'll be in contact if I have any other questions. And in the meantime, be careful what you join on the internet. Crazy world out there. Yes, it is. Thanks for coming. Oh, no. Thank you very much for your cooperation. And again, give me a call if anything comes up. I will. Okay. Thanks. Why are you lying? I'm not. Yes, you are. Ashley wouldn't have come up with something like that. Well, I didn't come up with it. Yeah, who did? You. What are you talking about? 
One of your drunken rants, you went on and on about this stalker club game that you played when you were a kid, how it ruined everything. What else did I say? Nothing. No. Don't lie to me. That's all I heard, I swear. It wasn't me, Mom. I didn't start it. So who was it? This Darren kid? I don't know, but we all swore that we would stop. That the game was over. I guess it's not. Are you following me? What? You're following me, aren't you? No, I, I, I was just going to class. Where were you yesterday after school? I was at the tech expo. Jeez, Ash, what's wrong with you? Can you prove it? Yeah. Satisfied? Damn. Thought you were cool. You're a real bitch, you know that? I guess you talked to the police. Yeah, and I told them it was all in your crazy little head. Chloe, don't forget, you have detention after school today, again. Whatever. You were here after school yesterday? Really, Ashley? You think it was me? Please. You're such a head case, nobody would believe you. But if you get any more bright ideas, I'll make sure you're the one that goes down. She's such a bitch, Ashley. I mean, don't you remember all the cool stuff she used to do to us when we were younger? Putting worms in our lunch bag, locking us in that shed, putting a beehive in our fork? That's right. The bees, that, that was Chloe. Yeah, I know, because I got stung. She was a bitch then and she's a bitch now. So it has to be her. What are you talking about? Um, it's a long story, Meredith, so I'll, I'll tell you later, but Will you come with me somewhere tonight? If you help me, we can finally bring her down. Hell yeah. We have to tell the truth. It was 30 years ago, Karen. It's done. It's not, Anna, and you know it. I mean, my daughter just got chased through the school last night. How do you know that had anything to do with what we did? You think the masks are just coincidental? Oh my God, Luke, look what happened to your daughter. Karen, stop. Those masks could be in any dollar store in any state. You're being an alarmist just like you were back then. Really? Really. Well, obviously, if you'd all listened to me and not started the club in the first place, nothing would have happened. You played the game too. Yeah. No, I didn't, and I told Anna I wasn't gonna play. Yet she told all of you that I was so I could continue to be stalked which is her idea of having fun, like it was her idea to go too far with the stalking. What happened to Teresa was an accident. Then we should have told the cops. Look, we were teenagers. And I don't know about you, but I was scared to say anything. So was I. Well, someone in this room was there the night Teresa died. So someone in this room knows what really happened. How are we still talking about this 30 years later? And how did our kids find out about it? I mean, we were the ones that made it up, and we swore never to tell anyone. Maybe someone did tell. Okay, well, it doesn't matter how they found out. What matters is that we finally do the right thing and tell the police so they take what's happening to our kids seriously. I mean, Linda has lost Mark. Luke lost Sadie, and I already lost my husband. And I'm telling you right now, I am not losing my daughter. All right, everybody, let's sleep on it. We can make a decision tomorrow, OK? All right. I've had a long day, too, Mom. Okay, so 
You're going to call Chloe and, and tell her that I've gone off the deep end or something. Yeah. That I, I've threatened to go to the police and tell them that she's the stalker. Okay. And then she's going to get really pissed off. And she's going to want to stop me. And I'm going to videotape her. Sounds good. Be back here? Yeah. Good luck. You too. Hello? Stop. Mom, stop yelling at me. Look, this is your fault, okay? If you hadn't told me about this stupid club in the first place, my friends would still be alive. My boyfriend would still be alive. I hate you! Away from me. I just wanted to talk. I tell you, I'm sorry I lied to the police. Of course you lied. Because it was you. You you killed Mark and Sadie and Chloe. What are you talking about? Don't! Just don't! Ashley, I don't know what you're talking about. Mark wasn't an accident. And Sadie didn't kill herself. It was you. You you killed both of them and you killed Chloe. Wait, what? This is crazy. I videotaped it so you could stop lying! Fine. Go ahead and think what you want. I'm not gonna stay here to get accused of something I didn't do. door.
Who are you? What do you want? Where's Ashley? She's in the house, Darren. We have to get you to a hospital. Come it's in there. The stalker is in the house. anymore. Neither did my sister. Mrs. Clinner. Congratulations, Ashley. You win the game. Why, why are you doing this? Because 30 years ago, your mother and all her friends got together and formed a clique called the Stalker Club. I found out about it two years ago, after my parents sold the house. I was helping to pack up my sister's things, and I found it. It was just an old school journal, but it was all there. The rules of the game. The pack not to tell anyone. And the torment she was going through. It all made sense then. The late night phone calls. Hello? The jumpiness. Teresa. What's wrong? The notes that she would crumple up and hide, and the fact that she started sleeping with the light on. And the mask. I caught them all wearing. all leading up until the day we found her. The police, they said it was an accident, that she tripped on her shoes and fell down the stairs. But I know the truth. It was them. They killed her. So now I'm taking from them what they took from me. The ones they love the most. Get the hell off my daughter. You take one more step, and I am going to slice her throat. Beth, listen to me. I'm sorry. I told them not to play the game, but they wouldn't listen. You're a liar. It was you, too. You were one of them. Beth, once I realized how horrible the game was, I told Anna I didn't want to play, but she wouldn't listen to me. And when your sister fell down the stairs because Anna took the game too far, I told them. We had to tell the police, but they all told me that we would go to jail. But I'm sorry. I was scared. I was 17. And you took her away from me. Do you know how that feels? Please, Beth. It's been 30 years. And the game, please give me the knife. You know the rules. Once you join the Stalker Club, you can never leave.
you're a tough guy. Come on. You know, you're not supposed to be walking on your own yet. I know, I know. But I needed an excuse to get close to you, so. Oh. Hey, did you, um, did you hear about the club? What about it? It's everywhere. I mean, it's all over social media and the internet. How? I don't know, but it's become this, like, international phenomenon. Why would anybody want to join? Especially after everything that's happened. It's me. Well, I never want anything to do with it. Hey, Darren. You keeping an eye on the barbecue for me? You bet. <laughs> so, do you think you can make better burgers than my mom? Well, uh... Wait, wait a second. You really think you can make better burgers than I do? It's, it's kind of my specialty. Oh, we'll oh, see oh about that. hey, it's my specialty too. Ask okay, Ashley. Okay, I'm sensing a cook-off here. Let's <laughs> do that. I'm gonna go get the buns. It's on. Are you good? You 